Hey, y'all, you're at your parents' call and be like, listen, me and Ma turns 97 on Saturday, so we want everybody to come into town, put aside their differences, and try to get along for her sake, because we're pretty sure this is going to be her very last birthday. Right, well, this July 4th is like that, but for America. Yeah, hey, we almost made it to 250, y'all, because that's a pretty good run. See, back in 1776, the founding fathers came together to found this country, and now they had many different factions and philosophies. The one thing they could all agree on was no more king shit. Fast forward to this Monday, and the Supreme Court came out and said, actually, presidents are totally like kings, at least as long as we say so. That's right. In the case of Trump v. the United States, the Supreme Court of the United States sided with Trump. It's almost poetic in its shamelessness. And you have conservatives out here supporting this. How are y'all doing that with a straight face, y'all? Whatever, what happened to small government? Freedom, liberty. You're okay with throwing those things away just to own the libs one last time? That's all right with you? But it is, say what you will, the left would not respond like that in a similar situation, right? If, if the Supreme Court was like, hey, y'all, we're going to abolish the whole First Amendment, here's why. See, now we can arrest papaws for calling vegans queer. Like, well, that part's funny, but there's some broader implications there that I'm not really comfortable with. But, dude, they don't care. They don't, and we all know why. We all know they've only ever cared about those rights insofar as they applied to themselves. They don't care about the rights of others being suppressed. In fact, they love it, right? We all know the truth is and always has been. Democracy be damned. A dictator daddy is totally fine with them as long as he hates and hurts the same things as they do. Still, you'd think they'd be a little concerned about a president being empowered thusly, considering the current president is someone they believe is the head of an international crime syndicate. You're not at all worried about Biden using these powers, but they're not. And there's at least a couple different reasons for that. One, they're all just banking on Biden and the Democrats not exploiting this situation because of unfortunate traits like morals and integrity. And so far, they've been proven correct. Biden's already said he will not abuse these powers. Sometimes, sometimes the Democrats are like, if Batman was pathetic, you know, they're always like, we don't stoop to their level. This is what separates us from them. It's like, sure, but maybe if you threw the goddamn murder clown off a building, the rest of us could sleep at night. You know, sometimes it's justified to fight a little dirty, right? But the other reason they're not worried about it is because SCOTUS didn't really say presidents are immune. They said presidents are immune for official acts, but not for unofficial acts. And every one of us knows that that really means official acts are those performed by a Republican president and unofficial acts are those that actually benefit the people of this fucking country. So yeah, don't even really apply to Biden, but still, what are Biden and the Dems going to do? I don't know. I'm not in the room, but I'll tell you this, Democrats, going out there and banging on the old, it's up to you, the people, you got to vote. That's all we can do. Banging that drum ain't going to cut it this time. This needs something more than that. This is the culmination of a decades long plot by them to usurp power in a country in which they're increasingly outnumbered and the fruits of their nefarious labor are coming to bear before our very eyes right now. And what are you going to do about it? Where's your fucking plan? It's four months to midnight and the clock is ticking. Figure something out. All right, more in a second, YouTube. Let's take a look at how the media is covering this story. Yeah, right, we're here on Ground News' website, this video sponsor. You can see they've aggregated all the stories about how, quote, Trump hails Supreme Court immunity decision as a huge victory. Hard to argue with that. But anyway, you can see here they've got the, the summary at the top, the coverage breakdown, a bunch of sources talking about this, many of which are in the center. You can see that in the handy-dandy bias distribution. You see all this additional information you get from Ground News because that's what they do. Ground News is a startup and service that aims to combat bias in the media by adding context to the news that you consume. Right? Further information here, you see the headlines. They've got all the articles aggregated and separated by headline. Before you even click a headline, you get more information than you get anywhere else. You can see the rating of factuality the bias of the outlet see here and you can also sort them by left center or right and you can start to notice the difference in these headlines so you sort by right right and it says u.s supreme court decision a victory for president trump see subtle still calling him president not exactly inaccurate but you know feels a little different a robust scotus decision on presidential immunity seems supportive right well if you go to the left-leaning outlets they talk about it a little differently usa today the supreme court just did biden a huge favor by giving trump immunity here we see the head in the sand version of left bias and then we talk the other ones are about biden criticizing them and you can just see how different outlets report on things differently. You get an added layer of context, but that's not all they got on ground news. One of my favorite features is the blind spot feature right here. This is where you can see stories that are not being reported on either side of the political spectrum. So you can get out of your own little bubble and see what the other side is talking about. For once, also, you know, what's good about ground news is you, we all got that family member who's generally non-informed, right? They don't understand what they're reading. Maybe they get all their news from Facebook. Well, how much could they benefit from a service like ground news? 
They get introduced into the media spectrum in a way that gives them context right out of the gate. Listen, and speaking of biases, you also can use Ground News to check your own media bias, get some insight into the bubble that you're in, and see the breakdown of where you're getting your news from so you can be more introspective and insightful about the content and the news that you are consuming. Those are just some of the benefits you get from Ground News. So if you like the sound of that, click the link in the description below to try Ground News today. You can try it for free or you can get 40% off their highest tier Vantage program. That's the thing with Ground News. They're a subscription-based service, which means no ads, baby. Music to all of our ears, right? Listen, it's an election year and it's only getting, the stakes are only getting higher. So it's never been more important. Push back on the bias and the BS in the media. Try Ground News today. All right, YouTube, and we're back. Sorry, I got my red up. It's been a minute since I got my red that far up, but you know it is feeling a bit apocalyptic out here recently. What is their plan? I don't know. They don't even know what they're going to do. Who the damn president, uh, the, uh, the candidate's going to be, right? They're talking now like Biden might. I don't know. There's rumors about it being Kamala. See, I, I, got, I got people in the know. I don't really have people in the know, but some people who are kind of sort of in the know tell me they've heard rumblings that it might actually happen. Biden might actually step down or be replaced which would be wild, but it's going to be Kamala. They're out there. It's like, no, no, no. It needs to be Gretchen Whitmer. It needs to be JB or Gavin or any of these people. It's like, they can't just do that because see, she was on the ballot and other like smart reasons that I don't really understand. So it's going to be Kamala. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. First of all, she's a black woman and people tend to hate that. Not me, but a lot of people, you know, that I mean, you know, Hillary was just a regular old white woman. And that was, that got everybody's riled way the hell up. You come out here with a woman of color, having opinions and stuff, America's going to fight back. But still, I'm for it, but she ain't going to appeal to the Gen Z types either on account of she's a cop and a pretty hardcore one. But hey, the upsides are Maya Rudolph's going to have a hell of a career surge. You know what I mean? She is kind of funny. Have you seen that clip of her like clapping for those Puerto Rican protesters because she didn't know that they were protesting her? And then she stops and makes and like makes a curb your enthusiasm face right when, the, <laughs> right when she's told <laughs> what's actually happening. So at least, you know, we got some humor in the White House. I don't look... I. At first, I said Biden, there's no way he could step down. It's just not a feasible thing to do. It just isn't the type of thing that happens. But the further along we go and the, and, and the more papa he seems to get, the more I'm convinced that he might have to. I'd prefer it be another candidate, too. I have no problem with Kamala myself. I just want to win. And I didn't think she gave us a better chance over Biden, but... I'm not so sure about that anymore. Plus, I can kind of see I can kind of see Kamala use, abusing these powers and like maybe drone strike drone strike in Alito's car or something. I'm not saying while he's in it, you know. I mean, again, she's a cop. They do shit like that. They'll you know they'll beat they'll beat people up in the streets. They'll, they, you know they abuse powers. They, they, it's like their number one thing. So there is that. That part would be kind of funny. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. I guess we're all just going to have to wait and find out ourselves. But I appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to put these other clips up here. Uh, uh, yeah, stand-up special right here. You can subscribe to the channel, see the rest of these videos and my podcast. And I'm uh, doing some cooking stuff now, or at least I've done one. And the most important thing, the circle, is uh, treycrowder.com. And you check out my tour dates. I'm a stand-up comedian. Come and see me perform live. If I'm near you, I would greatly appreciate it. And you'll have a good time. I can almost guarantee it. I mean, unless you just don't like hilarity. But yeah, come see me either way. Keep watching these silly things and I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. See you bye.